Good morning, everyone. So quite a few people have asked me to do a update on Crypto Cowboy Token, which about a month ago, I warned you all not to get involved with because they were an absolute scam. The whole family's a fraud. The whole family's just a bunch of slime balls. Um, a lot of you actually took my advice and you didn't invest. And I'm glad you didn't. Um, and some of you decided to do it anyways, and I'm sure you're pretty upset with yourself right now, and you're probably going to have less of a Christmas, but hopefully this is a lesson learned for you. So let's, let's recap real quick. So they say they did almost 400 billion market cap in the first 10 minutes of launch and 1,012 holders. It says we had an issue, of course, at launch, but we got it fixed. We are staying on our roadmap and we will hit 1 billion market cap quick. We hit the biggest day one numbers in history. Now, when you read something like that and you know these people are point blank fucking lying to you and you still invest, at that point you deserve to lose everything. They did not have 400 billion in market cap in the first 10 minutes. Even if it was a typo, they didn't have 400 million market cap in the first 10 minutes. I mean, these people are like the Biden administration, point blank lying to your face and you still sit there and just do it anyway. And then they basically say, hey, you're haters. You're all going to get wrecked. I feel sorry for them not buying for their families. And this is one of the reasons I went after these people so hard is the fact that they kept saying, you need to invest for your families. We care about your families. You know, if you care about your own families, you'll invest and let us safeguard your money. And that's like a robber telling you, hey, let me in the house. I'm not going to steal nothing, even though they got a mile long rap sheet. I mean, these people couldn't have been more of a red flag if, than if you were at a bull arena. You know what I mean? Like these people are just straight up trash. So I want to show you how they've been doing. So someone asked, who sold almost five Ethereum? And Mike says, my dad, because he's getting fired because of threats at his dealership. You are all free to sell, and I don't have to answer for that. Dips are healthy, and we are so far ahead of any token. And I'm working on other big announcements. So then somebody says, well, that looks bad if you're in-house selling. I don't care. It's just in general. And Mike says, well, personal transactions are frankly nobody's business. Now, I want to remind you guys, this project was supposed to be a fair launch. A fair launch means fair for everyone. And they would not release the contract address until right before the launch. Well, when they fucked up and they released the address too soon, you know, crypto savvy people were able to see that they loaded up 16 wallets with almost half the supply. And of course, those 16 wallets were all of them and their friends and their family. So then they backtracked, said it was a mistake. They didn't mean to. So the launch was an absolute failure. They collapsed. It was just a shambles, man. So they had to renounce that contract, airdrop people new tokens. It was a mess. At that point, those of you that still stayed in deserve to lose your money. Because these people are supposed to be the best of the best and they're going to take your money and take care of you and your family and they can't even launch a, a, their token correctly. So let's go look at that 400 million market cap. So here we are. Down 47% in 14 days. Fully diluted valuation, $11 million. Trading volume, 13887 I mean, I don't know where that other $300 million or billion dollars that they said they were going to make went, but apparently CoinGecko has got this all wrong. It must be CoinGecko's fault. So let's go look at the holder list. Here we are. CoinGecko showed 11. EtherScan shows 12. You know what? Let's just be nice and we'll give them a $25 million market cap. That's still not even remotely close to $400 million or $400 billion. And their holders have only went up 800 in the last month. So I hope this was a lesson for some of you. 
if projects over deliver, over hype, and things sound too good to be true, they usually are. When a project comes out and says that they're the fastest growing token in the history of crypto, you should have instantly been out. You know what I mean? But some of you, you think you're going to make some quick money and you're going to be in and out, you know, and, you know, and most of you pay for it. And it's, it's a shame because you could get involved in good projects that aren't going to steal your money. And like I said, the fact that they loaded up all their wallets prior to launch and that now that they're selling large sums of money because they're supposedly losing their jobs, you think you trust those kind of people with your money and your family's money? Yeah, I don't think so. If you're still in, get out while you can. If not, like I said, let this be a lesson to you and you honestly deserve it.